So the big news in Formula One at the Barcelona preseason testing is Mercedes AMG's movable fore and aft steering wheel. It was seen to induce toe in on the front suspension. Apparently, it may escape the rule book as many look at it from a suspension perspective yeah, within the rules. And in regards to the rules, there can be a lot of interpretation and variables. When looking at the wheel caster, for example, especially via rake on the front suspension, these two will have an effect on ride height in general. Although one can argue that the one side up, one side down will negate that argument based on overall ride height. This argument may well be used when Mercedes AMG started using those two piece front push rods as one side will go up, the other down. With this dual axis steering, that's what Mercedes AMG calls it, it will affect ride height, although by a negligible amount because of those magic push rods. The fact that this has caused much excitement too may come from a common view that the steering wheel are only supposed to turn and not going forward and backward which might be seen as a hazard. With this Mercedes AMG dual axis steering, it turns the steering wheel into some sort of triggering device. Yeah. So what does it do? Um, speculations are all over the place. Though one that stands out is managing tire temperature. And we would go with this for now, because seen here is Lewis Hamilton moving the steering wheel backwards as he leaves the pit lane. Here we can see him beginning to use the dual axis steering. Yeah. When racing cars leave the pits, tires are still cold and the first thing on their mind is to warm them up. Put these two together and it starts to make sense, yeah? Why would a driver want to use such a system so early on track time? Well, before the car is primed. So let's see where it got the name from. Dual axis steering or how they could make it work. A normal rack and pinion has a rack with gears on them and a pinion gear that is attached to a steering wheel. This pinion would then spin and turn the rack. Now let's try and create our own dual axis steering. And then maybe it could show us some basics of how it may work. Let's split the rack into two, one for each wheel, and then split the pinion gears as well, one for each rack. These two are only mechanically connected via the steering shaft here. Now to start the to toe in is a spiral spline steering rod two going opposite directions. This would naturally push each wheel the opposite direction, also allows neutral effect on the steering wheel when being moved forward and backwards. This means when pulling the steering, it won't force the steering wheel left or right during moving the steering forward or backwards. Now let's pull and push the steering wheel. As we can see here, with one into two steering system, Maybe this is where the Monica dual axis steering comes from. If it's tire management via toe in, then this probably is the simplest way for a driver to draw heat to their front tires. The Mercedes AMG W11 has its tie rod or tracking rod in front of its steering axis. So in order to induce toe in with a steering system, the tie rods must be pulled inwards, yeah? 